Rise of the Ronin is an incredible open-world action-adventure game developed by Team Ninja. It is set in late 19th century Japan, during a period of conflicts and rebellions. What makes Rise of the Ronin so special is its engaging gameplay and richly detailed world. You can explore the game's scenery using katanas, firearms, and parkour, providing a unique combat experience. Although Rise of the Ronin is a great game, there are other games that can offer a similar and equally exciting experience. If you liked Rise of the Ronin and are looking for a game in the same style, don't worry because in today's video I bring the 10 best games similar to Rise of the Ronin. So subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Nio is an action and RPG game developed by Team Ninja, the same developer as Rise of the Ronin. The game is set in feudal Japan during the Sengoku period and follows the story of a lone traveler who must fight against fierce warriors and supernatural creatures to achieve his goal. The gameplay is intense and rewarding, and the historical setting of feudal Japan adds a unique touch to the experience. Just like Rise of the Ronin, Nio shares the samurai theme, both games allow you to shape your own story. Nio is an intense and challenging experience, perfect for fans of action RPG and Japanese history. If you liked Rise of the Ronin, you will probably also appreciate Nio for its thematic similarities and gameplay style. Ghost of Tsushima is an action and adventure game released in 2020. The game is set in feudal Japan and you take on the role of Jin Sakai, a samurai who risks everything to defend Tsushima from the invading Mongols who are pillaging the land. You will travel through the Japanese countryside helping civilians and defending them from the Mongol invaders. Combat is conducted in third person, with frequent sword battles. If you liked Rise of the Ronin, you are likely to also enjoy Ghost of Tsushima. Both games are set in feudal Japan, have intense sword combat, and offer an immersive experience in an open world. Ninja Gaiden, Master Collection is a compilation that brings together three Ninja Gaiden titles in one package. If you enjoyed Rise of the Ronin, there's a good chance you'll also appreciate the experience offered by these games. Like Rise of the Ronin, the Ninja Gaiden games offer frenetic combat, agile movements, and intense challenges. You'll face terrifying opponents and need to master ninja skills to survive. Difficulty is also a hallmark of these games. If you enjoy challenges and continuous improvement, you'll find that in Ninja Gaiden. If you like ninja action games, challenges, and engaging stories, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is an excellent choice. Prepare to face formidable enemies and dive into the dark world of ninjas. Anamusha. Warlords is a hack and slash action adventure game developed and published by Capcom. The gameplay is focused on melee combat, where players take on the role of samurai Samanasu Kakechi as he fights against demons and other supernatural creatures. The game features fluid combat mechanics, where players can use various weapons and special abilities to defeat enemies. In addition, there are also puzzles and exploration elements that add variety to the gaming experience. For those who enjoyed Rise of the Ronin, they are likely to also enjoy Anamusha. Warlords. Both games are set in feudal Japan and feature sword combat.
Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice is an action-adventure game developed by From Software and released in March 2019. The game is known for its challenging gameplay and intense combat. Players face a variety of enemies, from samurais to supernatural creatures, and must use their combat and stealth skills to defeat them. One of the unique features of the game is the posture system, where players must break the defensive posture of enemies before they can inflict significant damage. Just like in Rise of the Ronin, players who enjoyed this game will likely also enjoy Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Both games are set in Japanese settings and offer a challenging combat experience. In addition, both games have an engaging narrative and an immersive atmosphere that captivates players. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is a real-time tactical strategy game developed by Minimai Productions and released in 2016. The game is set in feudal Japan during the Edo period and follows the adventures of a group of assassins on secret missions from the Shogun. In the game, the player takes control of five distinct characters, each with unique abilities and specialties. These characters include a ninja, a samurai, an assassin, a sniper, and a master of disguises. Each character has special abilities that can be combined to overcome challenges and complete missions stealthily. Just like in Rise of the Ronin, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun focuses on stealth and strategy mechanics. Trek to Yomi is an action-adventure game released in 2022, developed by Flying Wild Hog it features a stunning monochromatic aesthetic, inspired by classic Japanese samurai films. The story follows a young samurai named Hiroki, who must confront an army of invaders after his village is attacked. Hiroki's epic journey takes him through beautiful landscapes and typical settings of feudal Japan, as he faces enemies with his sword. The combat in Trek to Yomi is challenging and captivating, with gameplay focused on tense, action-packed sword fights. Players must learn to time their attacks, block, and dodge accurately. Those who enjoyed Rise of the Ronin will probably like Trek to Yomi as well, as both games capture the atmosphere and aesthetic of classic Japanese samurai films. Way of the Samurai 4 is an action-adventure game developed by Acquire and published by Spike. The story unfolds on the fictional island of Amahama, where three different factions are fighting for control. The game offers non-linear gameplay, with multiple possible endings, depending on the player's choices and actions. Players can engage in battles using a variety of weapons, such as swords, spears, and firearms, and can also use a custom combat stance to suit their fighting style. There are some similarities between Way of the Samurai 4 and Rise of the Ronin, such as the Japanese historical setting and the emphasis on action and combat. Walong, Fallen Dynasty is an action RPG developed by Team Ninja, the same creators of Rise of the Ronin. The game is set in ancient China, during the Three Kingdoms period, and features a story filled with drama and epic battles based on real events. Players assume the role of an anonymous warrior who fights against mythical creatures and powerful enemies in an open and interconnected world. In terms of gameplay, Walong, Fallen Dynasty is similar to Rise of the Ronin with a fast-paced, action-packed combat system, where the right timing of blocking, dodging, and counter-attacking is crucial for survival. Players can also customize their weapons and armor, learn special skills, and use magic to defeat enemies.
Assassin's Creed 2 is an action-adventure game developed by Ubisoft. The game is set in the Italian Renaissance, with the player controlling Ezio Auditore da Firenze, a young nobleman who becomes an assassin after the death of his family. The goal of the game is to explore different Italian cities, such as Florence, Venice, and Rome, and perform missions to advance the story. The game has gameplay very similar to Rise of the Ronin, with a more fluid and intuitive combat style, as well as a wide variety of weapons and skills to use during missions. In addition, the game also has an interesting story and well-developed characters, which can attract fans of Rise of the Ronin. It's not going to happen. Why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! Have you played any of these games? Found similarities with Rise of the Ronin? Tell me everything in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. I'll be leaving here. Take care and see you next time.